Welcome to Electron Online. The second of the three moduli, I guess that's what we call it in plural, modulus is singular, moduli is plural, is called the shear modulus. And that has to do with trying to deform an object by pushing on it on one end of it while holding it fast on the other end. So you put something in there so that the block can't move, you push on it at the very top, and you try to deform the block. And so again, we call that the shear modulus, and it's the ratio of the stress over the strain. Now the stress is the force applied divided by the cross-sectional area over which it applies. Now in this case, the cross-sectional area is the top of the object, the, the area of the top of the object. Then we have the deformation, which is the amount of distance the top moves to the right. And then we have the height of the object right here. And the strain, that would be the ratio of that deformation divided by the height. And typically, they want us to find that deformation. How much does it deform? And so again, we apply a force of 1,000 newtons. Let's say the cross-section area is 0 0.01 square meters. The height is 0.1 meter. And the, uh, the shear modulus is 79.3 times 10 to 9 newtons per meter squared. Depends upon what the material is. You just go look it up in a, in a table. And then we solve this equation for delta x. So delta x then becomes the force times the height divided by the cross-section area and the shear modulus. When you plug in the numbers, here again, you can see the deformation is very small. If this is a, a metal, for example, it's just a block and it would be extremely difficult to deform the block. Now, if the material is softer and easier to, to deform, of course, the deformation would be greater. So let's say it was a rubber block instead of a metal block. But again, that is how it's done.